Okay. Well, I am. I have returned. Returned from the dead hobby of smoking cigarettes, as it were, according to most human beings, anyway. So, okay. At a crossroads, I think. I think it was kind of basically implied. Probably we just want to get a job. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a job. A job. Uh, I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? Oh boy, what a place to work! A cafe. It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. You could come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant peep or parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper. The most dignified birds there are the teachers. Is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara Kinzaburo. I am the owner of the Torimi Cafe. I'm Bynum Jared. Look me up on Facebook, guys. Welcome, Miss Jared. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And believe, and I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. The hell that means. I shall be relying on you for the summer, then, Miss Jared. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Jared. Oh, exciting. I got a job. Pretty pretty easily, too. Today is my first day working at Mr. Uri... <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Urushihara's Cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Leave early from my cave. Good morning, Miss Jared. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find anything. Or something, excuse me. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my house. Excuse me? Um, I saw the flyer at the station and. Ryuta? Jared? Well, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Jared? Oh, yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah. I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit in after my other job, or fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should. Oh, here we go. Okay, so... All right, um, so Ryuta's the old friend, the close friend, the best friend, I assume. And I am being given an option here that may be for the better or for the worse. I can either keep my job, keep my position, or I can totally give it to Ryuta, um, which, you know, would be a sign of extreme modesty and of uh, certain charity. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I don't know yet. Uh, I just don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. It's a tough one to decide on. Um, 
I wonder... Hmm. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know. I guess... I don't want Ryu to... <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Ryu to, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Jared. I've got a couple more places to check. Gracious. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Jared. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A budge... Oh my god. A budger Riger steps in the door. The first customer of my life. A young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. And it doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags. Maybe a white peacock. Welcome. Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urishihara. I'll take Kinzaburo. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Jared, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. <laughs> Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Jared, right? A seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. New encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please, sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Ah. Night on the town. I stayed out on the town for too long, and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. Oh, Oh, what is this? What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to St. Pigeon Nations, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you gets lots of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school. Thanks, she's so great. Gah. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time. But Rock Dubs ju I've just met all look the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. They buff up the chest, threatening them. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little... They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Slam. Thud. Hmm? The work of a moment. Some birdie flirt, flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Azami? Ah. That was close, Jared. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the fu- Who are you? Me? Well... I'm a passing Takayaki wave. Dub collapses before the might of Azami's magnificent kick. Sorry, Azami. I let my guard down. Easy for a kid to do. Life lesson. 
Always be prepared. Speak softly and drive a Sherman tank. She's so cool. I think I'm in love. Um, Ozzy? I'm working in a cafe near here over the summer. Could I treat you to something sometime as thanks? Is that part of your credo, kid? Good by me. Azumi takes the preferred, the proffered flyer, mounts her, mounts her trusty scooter, and puts off into the darkness. A hero of interest and a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. Wowie zowie. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invites. Let's go with Nageki. He needs to get out more. And yes, I had to take a screenshot of that. I'm sorry. That was just too good. Like, <laughs> speak softly and drive a, drive a Sherman tank. That's just too good. Um, okay, so I'm inviting Nageki uh, to the Summer Festival. Um, that's the bookworm. That's the, 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 library, the library hoarder. Um, hopefully he accepts my invitation, and I hope he has a good time. I really do want to make a better impression on him. Um, as uh, well, I mean, frankly, he seems he seems like he might have the most interesting of, of uh, maybe a backstory, as it were. I mean, the other t the uh, the other main ones besides the teacher, who I wouldn't necessarily mind going for in another run through, maybe at some point. But Nageki um, just seems like he has a lot more going on for him than the other than the other birds, uh, possibly a sort of a man of mystery or a uh, maybe a dark or secluded past something something interesting that and the fact I really I don't I, I know what's sort of going on with this Azami character I I, ju I just don't think I really want to pursue a lesbian relationship I I'm not you know I'm I, I I'm not interested in 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 having a virtual lesbian relationship with a sparrow so um, you know so let's see where this goes but I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Oh no! Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who always is, who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him, though he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. See, okay, so I've apparently messed up somewhere. Um obviously because now I don't even like I don't have enough information on anybody uh, to um, to, uh, to to even properly ask for a date so time sure flies while I'm in here see you all around Kinzaburo oh hey Jared hmm. Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day gestures me on his way out the door here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. See you all round. Good day to you, Rabu. I think it is time to close up. Would you care for something, Jared? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any ton tonjiru left? Of course. Here you are. Ah, that looks good. That looks really good. Mmm. Tonjiru from a fancy cup is the best. Mm. By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Yes. Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. A budger Riger who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming and clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm. I have been I met another careful driver recently. Oh, wait a minute, maybe a twist. Maybe a twist in my thought. 
Today is my day as receptionist. Yes, maybe I can bump into Nageki. Come on, Nageki. There's no birdie here as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Nageki? Yes? Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper, and there's a corner open, so I thought, can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yay, thank you. I think that's everything for the September issue. Wee! Ooh, okay. So, exciting. We're getting close, maybe. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get Nageki next time, next week. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Jared. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. They all retiring early? Miss Jared is a student. Oh, look at that typo. That's weird. It's supposed to be a space there, but. Miss Jared is a student, so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Doing the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Ooh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's my last day of my summer job, and it's your birthday. Gonna feel really lonely around here without you, Jared. At least Kinsaburo ain't girl nowhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I'm not sure how he does that, by the way. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Every birdie who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people, so few people come in. Ah, but someone's coming in. Oh, welcome! Oh, Azami, you came! Ah, now I'm playing the matchmaker. Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege now, can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. Yay, have a seat, please. Uh, Azami, is that you? Bling! Her expression suddenly hardens. Feels like the cafe is going to burst. Feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Do you know each other? You might say that. Disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? You left us all behind, have you? Azami, I... How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him at any moment. Um, Azami... I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? <laughs> what is this? I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night road who didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young. Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. We all knew we could have gotten there without a single traffic violation. Since when do biker games obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. When you ride, you ride on the inside. You're pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul is 
wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero. But a hero doesn't run away. You did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tale, on to the love story. Ozzy, I can tell you I've... I can tell I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But... Tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Udoshihara remains exactly as he was when it all started. Slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So Mr. Rabus used to lead a biker game, and his real name is Hosokawa Blaster? This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake and you look like Mr. Fababi. Mr. Fababi? And another screenshot. That, yes. Okay, yeah, that, this game is turned into possibly the best thing ever. It fits so well. I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Ozzy subjects Mr. Baba Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Baba Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Baba Bean? Ozzy, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Baba Bean. What's all this, Jared? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Plot twist, I was actually paying attention to that earlier. I got a little bit of a voracious memory on my eye as well, huh? Yeah? What was that name? I saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him. I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Faba Bean, right, Azami? Ah, uh, Jared. My name isn't... I saw it with my own two eyes. When you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human, kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten. What a sad story. You left without even saying no. And I'm still chasing your shadow. Ozzy, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No, thanks. I've had enough of that. He's threw me away. And there's nothing that can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads. But would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down, and I thought, I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster. Your eyes look like they did back then. Azumi, enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. Well. Well, and with that, apparently things just sort of... Sort of worked out. Wait, no, 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 no. It's not over yet. Stop the credits. This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did... Who started the ending scene there? Jeez. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urushihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Jerry. Yes, sir. Those who want to see others. Those who want to be seen. A soothing mecca for all such people. 
Torimi Cafe, Pocos Forest. Which apparently is a real place, I guess. Tea next to Chattering Birds. Curry rice to die for. I'll be honest, I feel like I am actually somehow advertising to this. So apparently, um, this cafe is a real place. The address is uh, Poco Nomori, uh, Spice Building 3214, uh, in Shironuchi Duri Nara, in Kobe, Japan. Telephone number 0788056700. Uh, email address and web address are offered, uh, as well as the opening hours. They open Wednesday to Sunday from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. They've been open since 2007. And again, web address, uh, http colon backslash doubled up birdcafe.jp. Um, info at birdcafe.jp is the email address. Um, I don't know. Is that the end? Right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. If you still haven't had your fill of avian company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Tarimi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you. As of September 20, 2011, please check the website for more recent information. I shall be waiting here in my bird cage for you. Ending number 12. Carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. Wow. I love it. Like, I love it. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh my god. Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Barnum. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, uh -huh, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you uh, getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Barnum? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh, we're breaking the fourth wall yet again. You're just a little bit early. Ah, so since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Bonham? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams. And I thought maybe you could help. You don't have anything else to do. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library. Oh. Okay, so we've seen one ending. We've got an achievement. Um, but now we've kind of reached another route, or another choice for specific routes. Um, I tell you, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I, I want to go to the library. As much as, as much as Mr. Nanaki sends me, as much as he is the air beneath my wings, I am going to study, yes. <laughs> exactly. We're study in the library. I want I want to talk to Nageki. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. I'm sorry, sure, but I'm not sure I've prepared enough for my test. I'd like to go study if that's alright. Of course. Work hard, okay? And he's thinking, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it, I almost had her. You almost had me. You almost had me. Uh, sensei. But that's okay. We're in the library. There are already a number of students working in the library. It looks like mostly third years? They probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? <gasps> Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in the far corner. Ah, in his usual spot. Nageki! Miss Bynum, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. By God. You look like a morning dove. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? He nods. They'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. 
Nageki, are you being... Okay, and so now we reach an interesting social question um, in uh, Hataful Boyfriend. Um, now, the character of Nageki is obviously a bookworm, socially shy, not inept. There's a difference. He's just shy. He's not inept at a social gathering. Um, and he seems to have purposefully dislocated himself from the social circles of of the school and it almost seems as though exactly one of course is being bullied more than likely he has nothing to say he falls silent really this begs an even more important thing to mention is that god forbid whether in a work environment or a school environment or a uh, public environment even if you have the assertiveness and you see, not just morning doves, but any bird. If you see any bird being bullied at any point in time, don't sit back. Do something about it. You're the change. You're the difference. You're the difference between ongoing bullying and putting a stop to said practice. So... Keep that in mind. Next time you see a bird being bullied, he falls silent. There's something wrong. I'd like to help. There we go. Okay, so we made a little bit of point. We made a point to sort of be interactive with him. We're, we're trying to dig. We're trying to dig. So, now, okay, so back, back to Kazuaki Desu. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Not really, actually. Cool. Okasan is always having fun. Yuta. Uh, yup, yup. What is this fun? Fuck off, Sakia. Jesus. Kazuaki. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir. Focus. By God, focus. And there we are. We have now officially reached uh, the second term of uh, Hataful Boyfriend. Um, now, uh, at this point, um, I guess I am going to call it a night because I have class at 9.30 in the morning. Um, and I do have at least one thing I have to type up and print out before I call it a night here in my dorm room. So, on that note, um, everyone who has been, uh, who has been here watching, uh, everyone who's been a part of this stream experience, thank you very much, uh, for it. I really do appreciate it. Um, and yes, it may be a single digit number, but, uh, I would really like to think that, uh, even if only three or four people are watching... That maybe you learned something today. Maybe you learned something about yourself. Or maybe you learned something about a friend or a loved one. Something that you could take home with you or take back with you. Take to work with you. So, so yeah. Um, on that note, uh, I will be signing off for the evening. I should be back on tomorrow. I do. Apparently, I was invited, oddly enough, as a weird aside, I was invited to some sort of trivia game night at a bar so I don't know how that's gonna go especially on a limited income but uh, right now we're just happy for the invite so I suppose uh, that's gonna be happening at about seven o'clock tomorrow night it should be over by about nine uh, we're gonna attempt to do uh, do some more streaming tomorrow um, hopefully if all all things considered as long as this godforsaken Network infrastructure at this college decides to work with me. Um, we will attempt again. We will attempt to start maybe around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Um, and uh, I'll, of course, post uh, updates on my Facebook. Um, and I will also be, uh, just in case you want to share this this wonderful 
this wonderful experience we've had tonight. Um, in case you want to share it, I will be posting this stream onto my Facebook channel. Um, and by all means, link it, share it, whatever. It should be on. I will multitask. It should be on my YouTube page by the end of this evening. And uh, should be edited and nice and cleaned up a little bit because I know we had that long break. And then we had the beginning. We obviously had some issues trying to get... Um, trying to get the, the stream started. So on that note, uh, again, YouTube video. We'll have this stream posted on YouTube by the end of the evening. Uh, I will be back on tomorrow night uh, around the same bat time, same bat channel. Um, and yeah, I know, the ominous and personal we, yes, because, be, because absolutely. No, no, actually, it is not my brother. I am actually misappropriating this badly because I am so... I am so used to broadcast, broadcast con uh, concepts now. Um, so anyway, um, on to that, on 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 to on to the next thing. I guess um, again, thank you, thank you guys for uh, giving me a giving me a look. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, yes, and I will, I will, I will definitely change the name uh, from RE4 to Hotable Boyfriend. Um, so as to not mislead anyone anymore. I, I, I don't think people appreciate that. They probably get their, their hopes up and then they realize that they're going to be dashed immediately by the infinite sound of feathers flocking. So, um, so yeah. Okay. So on that note, thank you. Thank you again. Uh, good night. Good luck. And uh, everybody, I will be, well, if I can figure out how to work Alt-Tab, I will be back tomorrow night. So thank you. Thank you very much. Good night.